Get out your ghost meters for this one because let me tell you, it's about to get creepy, it's about to get weird, and we got some explaining to do. First and foremost, subscribe to the post fixture for ring the bell, make it a good thing. It notifies you, it really does. YouTube has this notification thing that sends out. I don't make it up, it's just the way that they work. But either way, if you don't like the video, you can leave, dude. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, <laughs> dude, is this a hiding place? Oh, dude, I thought I could hide somewhere in there. Anyways, guys, I am in my home, my humble abode, the place where I aside when I'm not doing what I do out in the streets of Brookhaven. It's rough out here. But anyway, guys, I have my meter here. We're going to suit up and do some detective work today because I feel like it's essential to do just that. There's been some creepy things that have recently appeared in Brookhaven over the course of a few updates. And, well, you guys are always reporting very strange, odd mysteries to me. And I always say if you have a strange sighting, something weird, and you got proof of it, tweet it to me on Twitter at totally not ONG. <laughs> Shameless plug. But anyway, so, yeah. You can do that, but because, uh, uh, guys, it's a community thing. When it comes to these scary myths, these mysteries, we have to look at them together. And boy, when I say they are getting absolute insane, like some of these are just so scary that I almost don't even want to touch on them. And I don't want to talk about them such as this one today, but I'm going to do it for the sake of my viewers. <sighs> Wish me luck. Anyway, so yeah, if we're going to pro properly do this, we need to talk about some of the recent sightings and everything that's kind of occurred over the past few days and, well, weeks even at that most. But it is getting nighttime, and that means 3 a.m. is going to be creeping, and that means we have our work cut out for us today. Let me tell you. But keep it down over there with your blaring retio station. Sorry, I lose it sometimes. Anyway, so if we go in here, we will go to the paranormal activity. We will see disturbance reported at janitor room at 628. Three eyewitnesses reported. Now, at this current moment in time, no one has proven or debunked that it, at 628, I'm guessing AM, in the janitor room, there will now be a new ghost that spawns or pops up for a brief amount of time. Now, I personally have not found this or caught evidence of it, but there are reports, you know, that creepy... Uh, ghost lady, the creepy doll. Yeah, th we're gonna get into that. Apparently, she also appears in the janitor room at this specific time. So, it is worth debunking. I don't know if it is 628, but we're gonna try to get over there. I don't know if we're gonna make it in time, dude. We got six We're gonna be a few minutes late. A few minutes late. Okay. Get the meter out. I definitely think it's AM, just personally. But... 6 p.m. is pretty dark in Brookhaven, right? So that could be the case too. So I don't know, guys. But what I did want to mention that though, and I did want to talk about that because if that is the case, you know, the creepy doll that we found in the attic and everything relating to that, it could have relatability to it and it could be connected, right? So definitely worth keeping an eye on, guys, keeping the investigation alive there. Now, if we go over here, someone put okay on the thing. Anyways, plot 18, or not plot 18, plot 13 is like hacker found at uh, plot 13 or whatever. That's where people are starting to see shadow figures, shadow men in Brookhaven. I'm not sure how that really goes, but we are also on the quest to find the shadow people in uh, Brookhaven because apparently there's different shadow people that appear from time to time and we've been kind of investigating that and getting down to it and people actually have provided me with proof of the shadows they have found. If I remember, I will try to put it in this video to show you guys some proof that we've already captured of that. Uh, but future me will most likely forget, but hopefully not. But yeah, there are proofs of shadow people in Brookhaven out there right now. So if you see a creepy shadow lurking and stalking you, you might want to log out of that Brookhaven server because, dude, it's it's getting really terrifying out here. But either way, let's talk about this and let's explain the creepy doll a little bit. The creepy doll that I'm talking about is the one in the attic found at the summer camp. The newest update that just recently got added to Brookhaven, a fantastic one, but one that did not leave us without a scare. Up in the attic, it seemed to be quite lonely. Some building blocks, that of a child's playroom almost. Uh, for some odd reason, the only thing that remains up there is the doll and a mirror. So it's almost concerning as if perhaps a child went up there during the summer camp to get away from everyone and perhaps got trapped up there and never left or something. I don't know, dude. I don't know the story, but it's creepy. So. Uh, also worth noting that spider that I see up here sometimes don't always appear there. So let's get up here. Let's get out our camcorder and let's hope for the best. I just wanted to see if our meter changes at all right now. I think we're good. Let's sit in the chair. Okay. I 
For a brief second of time, I thought it might have changed the pattern of the beeps, but I think we're good. So, if we look over here, guys, we will see the creepy doll that is here beside the building blocks. Not much of an explanation. We can't pick the doll up. She is just there, cursed almost. Um, this could be a, a, a sad occurrence of some sort. But if we look at the building blocks, they scan and they go all the way out to here, to this mirror. A solo standing mirror that many have claimed to even spotted a ghost looking back at them in. I don't know if at a specific time you might see her in the mirror. Now, I don't know what time specifically. It could be 3 a.m. It could be any time for that matter. I don't know. That's why we're trying to investigate that this, and that's why we're trying to get down to the bottom of it. So to give a little bit of an explanation behind the creepy doll here, the creepy girl, she was first introduced in the Disaster Pack. The Disaster Pack is a game pass that you can buy that allows you to have disasters to your houses and apartments for those who would like more role play options. And if you look, one of these included a ghost option. Now, when I say this is probably one of the most terrifying things that's ever been added to a Roblox game, I mean it. This ghost option, when you enable it into your house, not only does this ghost lady appear in her full form, she starts making noises that is so unheard of. So what we will be doing is the most unheard of thing ever, and I'm probably gonna regret it, but let's lock our doors, and let's turn off all the lights in our house, and hope that she spares us. Obviously in your house, you wanna turn off every light possible, every bedroom, every bathroom, every light wants to be off. Now I don't recommend people do this because this is truly, and I mean truly, terrifying. We have one bathroom left. And soon we will regret every decision we've ever made with only the light of our camcorder. Let's go over here. Oh God, dude, I messed up. No, get off of that, dude. How do I? No! <laughs> Dude, I messed up, dude. Okay, I just gotta go like that. No! I can't get off of this mode! D give me, give me, give me a second. Now we are going to enable the ghost. <laughs> okay, now I need to lock my door. Yep, my door is locked. Okay, guys, now listen carefully. This is about to get terrifying. <laughs> Jesus, never mind. I guess that explains. There she is. I don't know if you guys just seen that, but there she is. So we don't really know her origin and backstory at the current moment, but what we do know is there's Todd. Who left the door open? My, my house was locked. That's spooky. Okay, let's just, let's just go upstairs, right? I doubt she's upstairs. Um, hello? The sound effects are the most terrifying. Okay. I'm trying to get a closer. Yeah, guys, I think that kind of explains it. That's pretty creepy, but we're going to keep the investigation strong, guys, and we're going to find every ghost in Brookhaven. With that aside, I will see you guys later. I got to get my house depossessed somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but uh, wish me luck.